and welcome to IndianTelevision.com series of the week. Let's take a look at this week's top stories. Just before Reliance Industries announced its decision to completely acquire Network 18, founder Raghav Behar resigned as director. But in a new announcement last week, Behar will continue to be non-executive director of the company from 7 July. Network 18 is now officially promoted by RIL and its subsidiary Independent Media Trust. After Videocon D2H announced last week that it will soon be introducing 4K Ultra HD TV in India, it also announced that this Diwali it will be going in for its much-awaited initial public offering of 700 crore rupees. The IPO will be raised to fund and grow its subscriber base from 11 million to 20 million. ETH Operators Association and the MSO Alliance have joined hands with broadcasters to embark on an aggressive campaign to fight the heavy entertainment taxes levied on them by the various state governments. The TBC running across channels appeals to viewers to pledge against rising entertainment taxes. Let's take a look at the other stories that made headlines. The LMOs in Kolkata are gearing up yet again for Own India subscribers. While earlier, a group comprising of 100 LMOs had announced its plan of setting up its own cooperative, news now is that another set of unhappy LMOs in Kolkata has united to set up its own control room and head in. It will declare its plan only after the end of the ongoing 2014 FIFA World Cup. A town hall meeting has been ongoing with the employees of Network 18, where Reliance Industries executives are meeting them and assuring them that the takeover will not affect them in any way, especially editorially. Star India and Taj Television have issued switch-off notices against Hathaway due to non-payment of subscription fees, non-signing of agreement and non-submission of subscriber reports. This includes channels of Z, Star India and Turner International India. On 11 July, the Delhi High Court adjourned till 26 August the hearing in the matter relating to Kantar Media Research with regard to cross-holding in TAM. The adjournment came after Justice Manmohan was informed that the new government had not appointed the advocate who would argue on behalf of the government. TAM can continue publishing its TV ratings till the court decides on the Kantar petition. Sony 6 has backed the television broadcast rights of the World Kabaddi League in India. That apart, the sport will exclusively telecast on Jio TV in Pakistan and ARY TV in Dubai and UAE. Sony 6 currently has big sports properties on board, right from the Indian Premier League to the ongoing FIFA World Cup. Budget 2014 brought some sad news to digital advertisers as 12.36% service tax was levied on online and mobile advertising. These two were earlier exempted from the levy which was only applicable to television. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, however, chose to continue to keep the much larger print media sector out of the tax net. That's all for now. For more updates and insights about the media industry, log on to www.indiantelevision.com. Till then, have a great week ahead. Goodbye.